Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, joined by Lesson, the Sultan of Cinco. Yes, and today we're looking at another beer from France that was sent by Gerard and Alain, Alain uh, who has the shop Chez Alain in France, in Brittany, a uh, beer shop. Uh, they uh, sent out this beer mail with a lot of French craft beer because they wanted me to see what's going on in France. And I must say, I haven't had much French craft beer. Uh, the only one I've had from the package so far was the Sour. Uh, which was pretty good. It was very strong sour. Uh, this one should be interesting. This is another beer from Brittany, which is uh, the uh, region where Gerard and Alain is are, are based. And this beer is apparently fairly close to Alain's shop or the brewery is. So this is from <laughs> Brasserie Renat, and this is the Skummen Skum Skum. Uh, rye IPA. Uh, so this is a rye IPA on 6%. So uh, yeah, 45 IBUs. That's kind of light for a uh, IPA. It's got Pilsner, Cara Red, something I don't understand in French, and then probably one of them is rye, and then topped with Columbus and Chinook. So it's a very oh, old Chinook is a very good. Huh? Remember we used it in Geronimo? Yeah. But yeah, let's I love get a crack. Up. So we got the Brasserie Renat. Uh, Renat Skummen poured the and rye IPA. And it is Skummen. Yeah. You got some yeast maybe in yours, or is it? Yeah, there's a yeast in the bottom. But you got some in yours. Mine is pretty clear. It pretty much looks like kind of like a West Coast IPA. It's like yeah. a nice orange color. It's just how it's supposed to be. Yeah, nice white head. Let's check out the aroma on it. Woohoo! I'm is... definitely smelling the Chinook. Is that classic I'm smelling flavor? sweet fruits, like yeah. uh, pineapple, a lot of pineapple. They mentioned uh, mangoes and pineapple. Mango, yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. getting tons of it, but there's maybe some. I'm, I'm getting tons of it. I'm getting more floral notes. Maybe I get like people flowers. to share it off tons of it, because we get a lot of it. Mm. Uh, there's some citrus notes, like lemon, lime maybe. A little bit of pine. There is definitely the spicy rye. It smells kind of like a West actually, Coast idea. Actually, I get a little uh, a little watermelon. Watermelon? Yeah. Hmm. Let's try it. Well, I'm just, I just got over a cold, so that might be why I'm not picking it up, but... It smells nice, though. It's good to taste. Sweet. Cheers, and thanks it's on to Alain and Gerard for the beer. I'm tasting a little bit of alcohol, actually. Or maybe that, uh, maybe that's yeah. the bitterness. I, or is that alcohol, phenol alcohol? It's that, I'm not sure. It, I'm getting a little bit of a phenol, oh, let's go for another sip. There's something on your tongue, it's like a stickiness. Maybe and like a sharp alcohol. yeah flavor. I, it, it, it's it's very good though. I get a little, still a little it's melon. It's a very light IPA though. Still a little melon. Mm. I'm getting definitely, a, Classic grapefruit, floral, citrus notes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, this bitterness too. This is compared to some of the IPAs I'm drinking at the moment, being made right now, just in other places in Europe. You can definitely taste that France's beer culture is also fairly young, or maybe at least in Brittany. Actually, I think this is very, very tasty. I think it's nice, but we also just had some beers that were just you know not as Average. pungent. This has got more flavor, but this is more the type of IPA I imagine being brewed maybe in Denmark three, four years ago. Uh, it's 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 got a, a malt backbone, some sweet malt, a little bit of the rye, and then more classic IPA flavor with lots of bitterness and oh, maybe not lots of bitterness really, but oh, that's classic like, grape actually with citrus and floral. The and after, the aftertaste is is a little uh, peppery and uh, mm -hmm. very bitter, and I I, I really it's very light mouthfeel though. It's also made with oats apparently but, by the way. So that's kind of odd because the mouthfeel is like lighter side of medium, I think. But actually, the but it's very drinkable. The body on it is very light, yeah. very very light for an IPA, I think. IPA is but it's very pretty, light, but yeah, it's. it's I mean, it's, like, it's, 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 it's a little watery. It's a pretty drinkable IPA. Uh, I like it. Maybe a little bit of the tropical notes you're talking about, but I'm mainly getting like, as you said, peppery actually, especially on the back end. Yeah. Peppery, yeah. spicy notes, but mainly like grapefruit, pine, floral notes. I'm yeah. like. 78. I think it's good, but compared to some of the IPAs that are made other places in Europe right now, this seems like this was something that was made a few years back. But again, it's a newer brewery. They opened last year, so that might also be one of the cases. And then again, the French beer culture is fairly young, but it's still a nice beer. Uh, I give this like an 80. 
Uh, if it had the, the same taste, be just twice as strong, I'll yeah, give it a, a, a 90. So guys, if you get a chance, check out the Brasserie Renes, Renards Skummen Rye IPA. And thanks a ton to Alain and Gerard for sending this bad boy, boy out. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter and Instagram. And we're going to say cheers. Cling. <laughs> See you guys in another beer review. Ha 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 